School volleyball postseason begins this week as district tournaments begin. At Berwick, it's more of the same for the girls as the Bulldogs enter the playoffs with a perfect record and their eyes on another trophy. Brett Alpert catches up with the Bulldogs in our sports spotlight. I'm really proud of the girls. 17-0 uh, speaks for itself. Another year, another terrific season for Berwick Volleyball as the girls go for their third straight District 2 Class 3A title. We've been working super hard on and off the court. Our team has really good chemistry and I think that's really important to winning. Enthusiasm, the dedication they've had to put in all season um, really paid off for them this year. The Bulldogs have only lost three sets the entire regular season, but those three kept the girls focused. We can't get too cocky. Like I said before, we do have to stay humble and everything, and we just have to keep working hard. We definitely know we're beatable, and we know that we have to stay humble and keep our feet on the ground. Now, with being back-to-back -back champs heading into districts, all eyes will be on the Bulldogs, but the girls don't feel any sense of pressure whatsoever. I mean, every year, every team wants to beat us, kind of. So we really have a target in our backs, but we kind of just put that to the side and we just focus. The last two seasons, the Bulldogs have lost the opening match of the state tournament. Their goal is still the same, making it further than last year while staying focused. One step at a time is the best way to look at things and progress, but we also want to get past where we've been in the past. And despite being undefeated, the girls think there are some things to work on heading into districts. Our communication is one big thing. Sometimes we let things go that like shouldn't be let go. Um, I mean, I think we hustle, we do everything else good, but I think it's just our energy. The Bulldogs begin their postseason journey on Thursday. Reporting in Berwick, Brett Alper, 2822 Eyewitness News.